Three quarters of the planet is covered by ocean. It's the engine that drives the whole planet. It is a circulation system. It moves heat. It affects the climate around the entire planet. This huge place it probably contains about 90% of our life and all kinds of creatures that we don't fully understand. It's a vital source of resources that we all depend on. The oxygen in the air we breathe. It's the lungs of the Earth. We've reached a point in our relationship with the oceans on this planet where there are no longer regional or local problems. We have a global crisis. The entire world ocean is suffering. The ocean is definitely threatened. Issues related to climate change, ocean warming, sea level rise, acidification, the exploitation of the ocean. Historically, of course, that's been the fisheries, but now increasingly oil and gas exploration and exploitation and possibly deep sea mining. Science and technology will play a really vital role in bringing about the restoration of our oceans. We have to wire the ocean. We have to put instruments in and under the water. Having equipment in situ in place to collect the same information over a long period of time gives us a wealth of information about how it's changing and hopefully lead us to why it's changing. Science and data actually provide the foundation for developing these policies and we're going to have to make them much faster than we have in the past in order to protect our civilization. So I think the question all of us have to ask is what actually can we do as individuals to help protect and restore the ocean that's now being degraded at an increasing rate? Education about the oceans and about the oceans as part of the Earth's climate system is just simply critical for the public to actually understand and make changes for themselves and then make their voices heard to make change for the leadership in all the countries of the world.